Good morning. Let us see today molecular orbital theory, MOT. Okay, and linear what is linear combination of atomic orbitals? Von Oppenheimer approximation. What are different types of integral? Coulomb integral, exchange integral, uh, overlap integral, and we will derive the secular determinant, secular equation. Okay, how it is derived? Okay. See first. Now let us. This is the quantum mechanical treatment of molecular orbital theory. You have studied molecular orbital theory in even in uh, plus two. This is the quantum mechanical. How the quantum mechanics is applied. Uh, for obtaining the molecular orbital, molecular orbital energy level. For example, on solving the Schrodinger wave equation of uh, atoms, the wave functions are obtained, the energy levels of atoms are obtained. The wave functions are nothing but atomic orbitals. Similarly, on solving the Schrodinger wave equation for molecules, the wave functions are obtained. They are called molecular orbitals now how the molecular orbital is formed constructed by using linear combination of atomic orbitals lcdo theory when two atomic orbitals overlap two atomic orbitals overlap it forms two molecular orbitals it forms two molecular orbitals bonding molecular orbital and anti bonding molecular orbital you have studied earlier so bonding orbital bonding molecular orbital which has lower energy lower energy than the anti bonding molecular orbital suppose when two friends when two friends joins uh, overlaps then they they form bond they form relationship and they have low energy at some time they fight with each other they fight with each other that is anti bonding molecular orbital similar to anti uh, similar to atomic orbital each molecular orbital can hold maximum of two electrons only like atomic orbital it can hold maximum of two electrons only next let us apply bond to solve the schrodinger wave equation electronic wave uh, electronic uh, von oppenheimer approximation is used what is von oppenheimer approximation nuclei being so much heavier than electron move relatively very slowly because nuclei is much much heavier 19 1930 times heavier than electron therefore nuclei being heavier move relatively slowly thus nuclei is considered as stationary nuclei is considered as stationary compared to uh, electron it moves fast the schrodinger wave equation for electronic wave function is solved therefore the schrodinger wave equation for only for electronic wave function uh, is treated as stationary fixed okay therefore the schrodinger wave equation is solved for electronic wave function only it this von oppenheimer approximation holds good for ground state only it is applicable for ground state only it breaks down for excited state this is the limitation of von oppenheimer approximation let us consider for example homo nuclear diatomic molecule hydrogen this is the simplest molecule when two oneness orbital combines it forms two molecular orbitals bonding molecular orbital and anti bonding molecular orbital sigma oneness and sigma star oneness how the molecular according to linear combination of atomic orbital the molecular orbitals are combined that is linear combination means plus p1 p1 plus p2 p2 this is the molecular orbital where p1 and p2 are the atomic orbitals centered on atom two hydrogen atoms and c1 and c2 are the coefficients of atomic orbitals c1 and c2 now let us consider the schrodinger wave equation or the eigen value equation this is the fundamental equation um, used for particle one dimensional balls particle three dimensional balls rigid rotator or hydrogen atom h star psi equal to e psi okay this is uh, where h star is the hamiltonian operator the e uh, psi is the molecular orbital the e is the observed energy values of the molecular orbitals okay and we have studied in the past lectures the expected value theorem or the average value the energy is obtained by using this uh, expression f expected value uh, integral psi 
Let's start psi d tau divided by okay, this is called the equation 3. Let us substitute 1. This is uh, 1, 1 in 3. Substitute 1 in 3. Therefore, psi is uh, t1, t1 plus t2, t2. Let's start t1 again psi, t1, t1 plus t2, t2, t2 d tau. Similarly, psi t1, t1 you substitute. Then cross multiply this. This uh, first t1, t1. Let's start t1, t1. Okay. Plus next this one, t1, t1, and let's start is that, and t2, t2, d tau, and similarly you uh, cross multiply this one, this one, and this one. You will get this, these terms, and similarly you cross multiply this. You will get t1 square because t1 into t1, t1 square. You can take it out because it is a constant. t1 square, t1 square, d tau. T1, T2. Now, H1. This is T1, H star. T1, H star, T1. T1, T1 square. You can take it out. T1 square. You can take it out. Okay. Now, T1, H star, T1, D tau. This is called Coulomb integral. That is called H11 or HIA. Therefore, T1, H star, T1, D tau. Okay. Similarly, H22. H22 is what we will get. T2, H star, T2, T2 square. Okay, here, H22. Now, this is called the Coulomb integral. It gives the Coulombic energy of the electron centered in atom 1 or centered in atom I. Okay. Next, H12, H12, that is this one, this term. T1, T2. T1, T2. Okay, T1, H12, H12 cap. This is H12 cap. And D to D tau. This is called exchange integral, also called resonance integral. It gives the interaction energy of electrons present in atom 1 and 2. It gives the exchange energy, interaction energy or energy of interaction of electrons between atom 1 and 2. Okay. H1, 2 equal to H21. Therefore, here you see. This, this is equal to C1, C2. These two are equal. Therefore, these two are equal to C1, C2. Therefore, 2, C1, C2, H12. Okay. This is E2 square. You can take it out E2 square. This is H22. Okay. Similarly, you will get. And yes, Ij equal to C integral. Ca, Cj, D tau. Or S12. S12 equal to S21. Okay. This is called overlap integral. It gives the energy of, it gives the energy of overlap, it gives the overlap of electrons, overlap of electrons in present in ice and jth atom, ice and jth atoms, okay. Therefore, E is equal to, on substituting these integrals in this expression, in this expression you will get C1, C1 square, H11 and these two are same, therefore 2C1, C2, H12, okay, this is H12 and C2 square H22, similarly you will get this. Now, the energy obtained is higher, higher than the actual energy, therefore the energy is minimized, the energy is minimized by using variation principle, variation theorem. Considering C1 and C2 are variables, considering C1 and C2 are variables, by uh, using variation theorem, we will derive the secular determinant now. Okay. Let us derive the secular equation, or it is also called secular determinant. The formula used, how it is mathematically derived from the energy expression we have obtained. We have obtained this energy expression as earlier. Let us call this as V, the denominator as equal to V and the numerator as U by applying variation theorem, by applying variation principle by using the formula, the mathematical formula, d by dx u by v equal to v into du by dx u dv by dx, 
divided by v square differentiating the energy with respect to the variable c1 and c2 dou e by dou c1 equal to 0 by minimizing the energy value by applying the variation theorem similarly equal to 0 by minimizing the value of energy with respect to the variable dou c, c2 dou e by dou c2 equal to 0 the energy obtained is uh, upper bound the energy obtained is higher therefore the, the energy value is minimized so as to get the exact value the correct value by using variation theorem now let us uh, differentiate partial differentiate dou e by dou c1 by using this formula okay v square this is uh, v square therefore v square and uh, and i v du this is uh, v i am writing here v okay this uh, this is v and du this on differentiation you will get 2 c1 h 2 c1 yes 1 1 uh, okay v du by dx so therefore 2 c1 h 1 1 and this is dou e by dou c1 therefore 2 c2 h 2 2 okay then minus similarly v square is common therefore v square this is v square and differentiating u and put u u is here same as this and then dv by dx this one dv by dx therefore this is d 2 c1 s11 plus 2 c2 s12 that is equal to 0 on cross multiplying this you will get this uh, expression and this expression is nothing but e our e energy value e therefore e into this cross multiply c1 s11 plus c2 s12 equal to c1 h11 c2 h12 similarly for therefore this can be written as c1 is common here c1 is common therefore c1 h11 minus e s11 plus c2 c1 and c2 the equations are written in terms of uh, the coefficients c1 and c2 therefore c2 common plus h12 minus e s12 equal to 0 similarly for uh, dou e by dou c2 equal to 0 this expression is obtained that is c1 h12 here 2 1 minus e s21 plus c2 h22 and minus e s22 equal to 0 these two are simultaneous equations it can be represented these equations can be represented in the form of secular equation or determinant uh, 2 by 2 matrix that is h11 minus e s11 h12 minus e s12 and then h21 minus e s21 that is h22 minus e s22 if you remember this you can write this determinant if you remember this secular determinant because secular determinant is important it is useful for valency bond theory as well as molecular orbital theory therefore if you know this then you just multiply c c1 h11 minus from this you can write this from the secular determinant you can write this okay these mathematical steps are uh, not required for your exam but um, to understand we need to know the steps how the secular determinant is arrived at how the secular determinant is derived okay therefore c1 h11 minus e s11 plus c2 similarly c1 this is for dou e by dou c2 c1 h21 minus and c2 
bracket h22 minus e s22 equal to 0. Okay. So thus we have derived the circular equation. Then we will solve these equations to obtain the energy values and the wave functions in the next class, in the part 2. Thank you for watching. There are three integrals obtained in the secular determinant Coulomb integral, exchange or resonance integral or O and overlap integral. Let us see now what is called Coulomb integral. Coulomb, the Coulomb integral is expressed in this equation form. It gives or it represents the energy of the electron in the atomic orbital centered in atom 1 or i. For homonuclear diatomic molecule H11 equal to H22 because uh, for hydrogen molecule the two atoms are similar or same. Okay. Next exchange integral it is also called resonance integral. It is represented by this equation. Uh, hij or equal to h12 integral psi i hij psi j t tau h12 equal to h21 or hij equal to hji it gives it uh, represents the energy of interaction of electrons centered in the atoms i and j it gives the interaction energy of electrons sent in the atoms 1 and 2 or i and j. Let us now see the third overlap integral. It is represented by Sij. It gives the overlap of orbitals centered on atoms i and j. It is represented by Sij equal to integral Vi Vj d tau. If i equal to j then Sij equal to Si equal to Vi integral Vi Vi d tau. This is nothing but normalization of phi function that is equal to 1. 